Hi class, welcome back. Today I will teach you some very important、uh, phrases that you can use if you go to China or if you want to talk to a Chinese person.、Uh, so let's start with how to introduce yourself. So in Chinese, you can say, 我的名字是 So here is your name. This is me. My name is. Like me, I will say, 我的名字是 Tintin. Ah,、uh, let me write the tones. Above the characters, so you guys can remember how to read it. Okay. So in here, what, which means. My, means, which means name, and the shi, which means is. Yes, very good. And also, if you ask, want to ask people, what is your name? You can say this phrase is, 你的名字是什么 ？Yeah, very good. Okay, let me read the tones. Okay. So in here, 你的 which means 要 And、uh, yeah, means that you know, which means name, and the、uh, 什么什么 which means what. So what is your name? 你的名字是什么 Okay, yeah, do a good job.、Mm-hmm. So that is the first phrase. I want to teach you guys today. Is that difficult? Not really. Okay, very good. Okay, so、uh, next the phrases I want to teach you is, I think if you go to China, you will probably go to shopping. Did you? <laughs> if you like go to shopping, these phrases will help you. So here is this one. Is how to say how much is it? So we say it like 这个多少钱 Yeah, 这个多少钱 Okay, very good. So in this、uh, phrase, 这个 which means this, this one, yeah. 多少 which means how much. So 钱 which means yeah. Very good job, money. Hmm. Um. Actually, what teacher Tintin? I lived in China. I really like go shopping, almost、uh, every day. 
because in China we have a lot of uh, um, little stores. Yeah, I not really like shopping in shopping mall by some uh, big brands. Yeah, uh, in some uh, little stores you can uh, buy a lot of uh, handmade uh, little stuff. Yeah, and also you can uh, haggle. <laughs> yes, you can do it in America. Is that right? Hmm. Okay, not fun. So, if you go to China shopping, you have to know how to say these phrases. So, this one, which means, um, please, can I get a little bit uh, discount? <laughs> we say it like, 便宜点. Yeah, 便宜. Very good. Okay, just read the tones. Um, every time if I want to buy something, I always ask them "便宜点," and I will say "太贵了." which means too expensive. Yeah. So, gui, which is mean expensive, and the tai, which means too much. Yeah. Um, actually, in China, when shopping, if uh, they said uh, this one need, uh, for example, need uh, ten dollars. Maybe you can say, how about start with five dollars? <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Yeah, and maybe he will say, no, it's uh, too cheap, maybe eight. And you can add a little bit and a little bit more. <laughs> and uh, until you, you think that is a perfect price. Okay, so this one I think is not that... Uh, Difficult. Can you guys remember it? Okay, very good. And also in China, every stuff is, uh, we don't have any tax. So every price is a final price. And next the phrase I want to teach you um, I think if you get a chance to go to China, you not only want to go shopping. <laughs> you also want to go to see a lot of uh, beautiful area. Yeah. So you have to remember how to say this. Okay. So this is, um, uh, let's take a look at uh, these characters. We call it Hao Piao Liao, which means so beautiful. So you can see he, here is so beautiful of this one is so beautiful of people. You are so beautiful. So let me read the tones. So first, let's learn how to say, wow, here is uh, so beautiful. So here, we call it, 这里, 这里好漂亮. Mm, okay, very good. And uh, if you saw some uh, cute little stuff, uh, of handmade uh, uh, stuff, you can say, 这个好漂亮. 这个, which means this, okay, and of course, 
maybe you will get a chance to use it <laughs> because in China I have a lot of uh, beautiful girls of uh, handsome guys and you can see Ni hao piao liang which means you are so beautiful mm -hmm. uh, you can see it in China but uh, I think most of Chinese girls is uh, they are a little bit shy so hmm, I don't know how they can will answer you <laughs> maybe you can try it okay. so did you guys have any um, question about this phrases? Not really. Okay. That I prepared a lot of uh, um, pictures for you guys today, and. Uh, Right now, this one, I think that is the uh, most important phrase. <laughs> so, this one is how to say, where is the bathroom? Is that important? <laughs> yes, of course. You definitely need to know how to say it. So, bathroom in Chinese called so so write the bathroom will say so so okay very good So let's repeat again, just uh, follow the tones. Okay. Tse so zai na li. Yeah, very good. Um, but uh, I can think, say if you can't remember these phrases, actually it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have another idea how to make people understand uh, what you mean. Uh, bathroom actually in China we also call it uh, WC so you will always say it uh, the sign on the uh, bathroom yeah so one was young <laughs> I always use my hand use a sign language to tell people I want to go to bathroom yeah so you can put your hand up and Make it like a okay, but open these fingers, and you can see it looks like W and C. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that is the most easy way to make people understand what you want. Mm -hmm. So W C, okay. And the next one I want to teach you is, I think if you have never been to China, China before and uh, uh, you don't know how to say some difficult Chinese, you just learned uh, some simple phrases, uh, I think uh, most of the time you will get uh, confused, yeah, and they don't know what the other people means, yeah. Uh, in that time, it's okay because I will teach you what you need to say in that uh, for that uh, situation. Okay. So here this phrase we say it like "shema." Do you guys know what it means? "Shema." Did you remember? Yeah. What? Very good. And the uh, is, which means meaning, 
means. So this phrase is mean. What do you mean? Yeah, I can understand. What do you mean? Yeah. So. So uh, please follow me and say Shum Ma Yi Su. Okay, doing very good job. See, Chinese is not uh, that difficult, is that right? If you keep this in my class, yeah. <laughs> okay, and also you can say, Qing Zai Shuo Yi Bian, which means Please repeat again. Please say it again. Yeah. So please is me. Is this character? Qing. Zai, which means again. Shuo. Speak. And yi uh, bian. One time. One. Again. One time. Okay. We read the tones, um, but I can say uh, if you can't remember any characters' tones, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, in China we have uh, a lot of uh, different uh, cities, and the people who speak uh, Chinese sometimes much different. Yeah, <laughs> some people will have very heavy accent. Uh, like me, <laughs> why I speak English, I have a very heavy accent, but uh, I know you guys still can understand. Yeah, so if you can remember tones, uh, it's okay. Most of the Chinese still can understand. So, please follow me and repeat. Qing zai shuo yi bian. Zai shuo yi bian. Okay, very good. Um, I, I think uh, these characters is also very important so you can talk with people. Yeah. Um, but I can say I have a very bad habit. Uh, sometimes if I can understand people what they are talking about, I will just say mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yes, <laughs> like that uh, Because I think if I uh, ask them, pardon, can you speak it again? That is a little bit uh, embarrassed for me, that's what I think uh, so sometimes it uh, works, yeah, but sometimes I make uh, people confused because they, maybe they just ask me a question and I said, uh, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> so I really need to change that, yeah. So I think next time I will be brief and say, can you speak again? You can say it again. Okay, good. And uh, but if you ever don't understand what somebody just uh, said, here is the last one. I think this is last uh, phrases can help you. You can say, 我听不懂 and give them very confused face. 我听不懂 Okay, so 我 which means I, me, yeah. 听, listen. 不懂, don't understand. Yeah, so this means I can't understand. Yeah. 我听不懂. Okay. 
and after that, you can see. 你会说英文吗 Which means, can you speak English? <laughs> yeah. So English we call it 英文英文 Okay. Actually, um, most of、uh, young、uh, Chinese people, they can speak some、uh, simple English, because uh, uh, we start、uh, we learn the English when we was like six years old. Yeah. So if you said, 你会说英文吗 Yeah. If you can speak that. I think、uh, you can talk,、uh, talk, speak English with them.、Mm-hmm. So let's repeat again. 你会说英文吗？吗 ？Okay, very good. And the last phrase I will teach you is, I think in China, you will not only go to shopping or go to see some beautiful view area. You also will want to try some Chinese food. Did you? <laughs> I'm just very interesting about any country's foods.、Uh, so. If you are hungry and want to go to a restaurant, get some delicious food, you should remember these two phrases.、Um, actually, in China,、uh, the restaurant is a little bit different.、Uh, not on every restaurants has a front desk desk. So if you went to a restaurant, you need to find a waiter. Yeah, any waiter is okay. Then just let them lead you to your table. Yeah.、Uh, but、uh, the waiter will never come back until you call them. Yeah, that's a little bit different.、Mm-hmm. So you should,、uh, in that time, you should、uh, put your hands up and、uh, say. This, 服务员，点餐。服务员，点餐。Okay. This is me. Hey, waiter, I need some food. <laughs> It's okay if you speak a little bit loud. In restaurant,、uh, in China, it's totally okay. And、uh, then, 服务员 will come to your desk and、uh, ask you what you need. And most of、uh, uh, menu in China, we have a picture, so you can see the food looks like. Uh, uh, if you interested or not, okay. I think that is very good. Um, then, after you finish your food, you want to get check. You also need to call waiter. Yeah. So you will say, 服务员 then, 买单 which means check. Um, about the check, I want to tell you in China, we don't have、uh, tips, we don't have it, and we don't have tax. Yeah, actually, that is the reason why I always、uh, <laughs> take out my food in America. So,、um, 
买单，买 the third tone， 单 fourth tone， 买单 ，OK， good。Um, China have a lot of、uh, delicious foods, and my one of my favorite is called the Beijing duck. But that is not a you. You only can get it in Beijing, just the the, the food's name. I think you can get it in any cities because it's very popular. Okay, so um, so that's it. Is、uh, all I want to teach you guys today. Uh, I think I hope you guys can remember that. So. If you go get chance go to China, you can talk with、uh, a Chinese person. Okay. So, did you guys have、uh, any problem, any question? Not really. Okay, very good. Um, I see you guys next time. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you. To my lovely patrons, Jabe, Iris, Ben, Cloud, Scotty, Jared, Artura, Nicholas, Michael, Brianna, Dora, and Sean for their support.